Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to discuss another video about modding for GTA San Andreas, only instead of just installing a mod, we're going to focus on texturing and skinning an asset from GTA San Andreas models to give you an idea of what it takes to skin for Grand Theft Auto. But before we can skin anything, we need to get the models, and before we get the models, we're going to need to get set up with some tools needed to get the job done. Before we jump into the tools, Let's just get an idea of what we're working with here. So we're going to turn this into this. I only thought it was appropriate given the current state of affairs on the planet. So with this method, we're simply going to take the default skin for this model, turn it into a Lysol can. And the method we're going to do this with uses the mod loader. So if you've already watched my previous video on how to install plugins manually go ahead and check that out you'll get an idea of how to install mod loader and then it'll make your life a whole lot easier so what we're going to need to start with right away is we're going to hop into my little tools bag here and i have an app called image tool so this is img tool version 2 i'm going to right click and run as administrator so with this tool, it allows me to locate the actual image file of GTA San Andreas. I'm just going to go to C, Program Files, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and Models. Once we get down into our Models folder, we're going to extract a particular model from the GTA image. Let's open that up. It's a pretty large library, so it needs a moment to compile everything. Okay, what we're looking for is going to be called Spray Can. So click Find Next, and there's our Spray Can texture. Now what we're going to do is extract that texture and save it to a folder I made called Assets. That's not necessary, that's just the way I want to organize and keep track of everything. Uh, next, we're going to click Find Next, and we're going to locate the Spray Can DFF. So that'll be a 3D model. So once we have that done, we're going to need to go back to File, Open, and go to Cutscene, because the Spray Can is also in a cutscene. So if we were to just edit those two files that I extracted, then possibly uh, our changes wouldn't make any sense in cutscenes. They wouldn't show up. So next, let's find um, what's it? CSS spray. Okay. CSS spray. Alrighty, we'll extract that model. We don't necessarily need to extract the models, but I will in this case to show you. Um, another instance of how you can use the DFF. Here we go. We'll extract that. Save that to our assets folder. The assets folder. All right. So we have our models. These are the DFFs, and then our textures. These are TXDs. Now, what I use to edit texture files um, is a little program called Magic. TXD. So to begin, we'll start by opening the in-game asset. We'll click on our can skin. So this is comprised of three different textures. This has a spray can icon. This has where the cap is. And this is the body. So we'll need to export that into a TGA. We'll also go back to our little assets folder and save that. Next thing we're going to do is open up our animation cutscene texture. And you'll see that it's the same exact texture. So we really only need to make one texture file for both of these. So let's go ahead and minimize. And we'll open this up in GIMP. Now I'm using GIMP as my graphic editor because it is 100% capable of doing pretty much anything Photoshop can and it's completely free. So now I'm going to go back to my browser and let's find a higher res. 
All right, we'll just copy that. And I'll open up a new file. I'll make it pretty large. So far, that is our texture. And all we're going to do now is export as. Uh, let's see. We're going to call it. We can call it anything right now. Uh, we're just going to save it as uh, can.tga. Our GTA, AC GTA assets, and we can basically just overwrite that actually. So we'll export it, hit replace, uh, export. There we go. We're going to go back into Magic TXD, and right now we have our animation cutscene can open. So we're going to what we want to do here is replace. All right, so we're in our assets folder. We've got our can texture. Hit open. Now, when it comes to the these options on the side, the left side here, your model, your texture will not show up. Um, or just actually look at the settings for these other textures here. DXT one one is a compression rate. You have selected DXT compression. DXT is a very efficient compression type for world textures. Textures stored in DXT use far less space but they degrade the image quality significantly. It is not recommended to compress GUI textures. Well, this is not a GUI item, so let's replace that. All right, we'll save that, and then we'll open our spray can. Click on the texture we wish to replace. All right, TXT compression, replace, click save. Now here's where the easy part comes in with the mod loader. So what we'll do next, we'll go to our GTA folder in our system programs, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto, and then we'll just go on down the mod loader, right click, new folder, we'll call it skins, and we'll just go ahead and drop these skins what right over here okay now I have these DFF files because uh, it's possible to take a gander at them so we can see if our textures have taken place by using a DFF viewer so I'll open it up here and we'll click open all right so here are our spray DFF files that we saved earlier. Hey, there you go. Our changes are definitely applied. It looks like the logo got flipped backwards, but that's nothing we can't fix. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, merge visible visible layers, and uh, let's see image transform flip horizontally and we'll save that export it again export replace sure um, let's close that and we'll go back to txd and go to replace compression oops 
Oh, God. Compression. Okay, replace. Save. Open. Oh, we don't need to open it. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, we do need to go back and find the... We need to edit this. These files. Okay. Uh, edit. Replace. Compression. Do not show me this again, please. Alrighty. Save. Um, save. What? All right. And there you go. Our model is looking good and legible. Oh, but we are missing. We're missing something. We're missing the uh, spray cap. Not sure why. Okay, no problem. I think I know what we have to do here. We have to extract that. Save that as a TGA as well. There we go. I mean, we shouldn't have to do that, but okay, replace. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it's saying or doing any of that. So we've got everything done. Let's pop into the game and see if it's a go. Classic. So I've got it saved right before we do the first mission where we have a spray can. Let's see if our little skin mod worked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, yeah, fat boy. Yeah, yeah. Watch out, Come on, fat boy. Watch this, fat watch boy. This. Look at, look at. Ah, look who's here. running, man. What, you think you back on the set? I told you that, bro. Your word don't mean shit around here. Come on, man. Give me a break. We got to go hit up the hood. Hey, CJ. Let them know you back on the set. The Johnson Brothers is rolling again. Take this, Booyah. man. We're going to hit shit up. Start with our own set first. Later on, we hey, spread out. I'll take the whole hood back. You already they spreading out, fat up. man. Let's play. Let's see what you got, poor chop. Hey, wait up. Nah, thought you hang with your now brother. Let's go huh? out there, well, social up, distance, and disinfect the San Andreas together. Yeah, for sure. Because we're all in this petri dish together, guys. Thanks for uh, watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them down low. Uh, I might be able to help you out. In the next video, we're going to show you how to do the same process, except you'll actually be loading the images straight into the game the no need for the mod loader the mod loader is the safest bet to go if you don't want to replace your files or worry about backups and whatnot you can always get rid of those files and they'll restore right back to the original 
hopefully we'll be able to figure out how to make a weapons mod coming up in a future video and until then guys thanks again for watching until next time yeah peace out it's your boy sorry for being obnoxious Wow.